Well, we're in business. Yeah. Uh, the first thing, obviously, is welcome to, to Germany, Ted. Thank you. Have you been here before? Yes, I was here last week. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we came to do three recordings with the uh, Army RAF uh, Hospital of Wegberg and also Cellar and one at, uh, I think it was, um, our, um, Artillery Missile Regiment at, uh, near uh, Hamer. Tell it, it was near the Myrna Dam because I went to have a look oh, at yes. it. Oh, yes. Well, that's not very far from here. No. Uh, Zauerland. That's right, yeah. You, you obviously know Germany then. Well, not obvi why obviously? Oh. The casual way you said that. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Yeah, pretty perspicacious, aren't you? No, I've been, in, well, I've been about 12 times. Really? One way or another, yeah. You like Germany? Yeah, it's very nice, very clean. I always had a good time when I've been here. Because it changed for me, so I'm really a peasant in the Midlands of England. Yeah. So I'd like to see how, see how the farms look. They don't seem very tidy, a bit small, I suppose. A lot of horses. We might be forced to go back to horses ourselves as things are going. Yes, yes, the prices of uh, petrol yes. and oil and things are going up. I'm thinking of having a new scheme, you know? Commuters out of the cities into the, f into the farms. It, it gets desperate. It will get desperate. Will it? Oh, I'm sure it will. Oh dear. I, I'm a pessimist. Oh yeah? Yes. Oh. You, you mentioned farming. Um, when you come to other countries, yes. do you do any investigation of farming methods? Or no, I just look out the coat. Just like the Mercedes windows I'm drawing the outer barn or uh, whatever it is. No, no, uh, not really. Because a lot of the situations which apply here don't apply in town. Really? Well, I mean, you, if you went to southern Italy, you couldn't decide to go a farm full of uh, olives or... No, no, uh, true. Uh, climatically, uh, there are restrictions. But uh, isn't Germany pretty similar to England? Yes, yeah, it's got more sugar beet. Yes, it has. <laughs> <laughs> Turn the ground. Are there any methods in Germany, though, which might... Apply in England? In England? Well, I suppose so, but uh, I don't think there are any known methods that aren't already in use. In use. So the question of emphasis, perhaps. Yeah. The, the Germans have got nothing for us, or have we got anything for the Germans then? Well, I'm sure we have. I mean, I mean, if, if uh, I'm not saying there isn't, I'm just saying I can't think of anything off the moment. That mm. I, I'm not a, a farming man myself. No, no. I just got the impression that German farming seems to be neater and tidier. And well, yeah, but then the Germans are neater and tidier, aren't they? I mean, went last week. We went to the football ground at Borussia Mönchengladbach, and. Uh, you can see there's no litter, there's no... Uh, yeah. They're more orderly, more disciplined. And perhaps the national characteristics is more... Uh, more um, restrictions on it, I don't know. Certainly neat, yeah, surely. Mm. Anyway, so much for Germany. Yes. Um, you as a radio personality, how does a farmer get to become a radio personality? Ah, well, uh, not many do, really. And uh, I don't suppose many could if they set out to achieve that object. In my case, I've been going for about... 16 years uh, on in the second division now I never really I always think mediocrity and sobriety are all right if you're punctual yeah and um, in my case I was um, I applied in the first case my sister was by application not by accident because I was in the uh, Britain program yeah uh, no, in those days, two went on the next round and two went home. That's I, what, I yeah. was went home, knocked out first round, and uh, then uh, six months later they wanted to put on a television version of the same program, and they wanted three farmers to constitute a team to play against the brains or three of the brains. Mm -hmm. So I uh, can never remember why, but uh, obviously they must have been scraping the barrel. So they asked me to go along to make. Uh, Make up one of the teams, and I've been going ever since on a off and on sometimes, you know, coming and going. So, on the first trip for a brain of Britain thing, yeah. you were hooked on radio? Yes. Or hooked on the idea of being personality? No, I wasn't hooked on anything. I, I, didn't, I just went home again and got on with my work. I tell you, six months later, I rang up and said, well, Are you available to do a television program? Oh, see, I see. After, I one, after one application, yeah. which was. Oh, no, I only applied because there was a little paragraph in the Radio Times said they wanted people to volunteer for the Midlands and East Anglia area competition. It was only because my wife said, go on, you think you're a damn clever one and you have a go at this. And that's what happened. Do you, do you like radio? Yes, yes. Better than work, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> seriously, though, you know. Yeah, um, seriously. How does radio appeal to you? 
Uh, you've never really gone in for anything other than just appearing on panel games and the like. Well, I have. I've done, uh, I've done um, any questions I've got on sometimes. Uh, I did a program from Sotheby's once. Uh, uh, panel games, quiz programs is more the thing. Yes. But I've done children's programs. Have you? They're about my intellectual level. It's about four or five. You know, you never intended going into radio in a very big way, though. I don't think um, so. I don't know whether I got the opportunity. Well, uh, no, I'm quite happy to do a bit. Of, um, so it's a nice complimentary sideline, isn't it? Very much so. Bit of casual labour. Uh, how much of your time does it take up? Well, it's taken all. Well, this week, I tell you, this uh, I've been very busy in November. Since we got the potatoes up in October, uh, I went on it. At the end of September, I went on a cruise, uh, and that was uh, by arrangement with the uh, Cunard Company. We did a few lectures on board, you see, so I worked a free cruise for myself and my wife. It all was paid, of course. Yes, of course. Then I came back, we got the potatoes in. Unfortunately, it's been very wet, and we haven't been able to get all the winter wheat in. But apart from that, we've been, uh, last week, well, I think it was the 20th of November we came here. We've been doing odd programmes around, like Bryars North, and and we've been to the north of Ireland a couple of times. Then we went to uh, came to Germany. Then last week I uh, came out from Germany. On Monday I went to um, Preston. I do talks. You see, people that been talked to or talked at, or some of them. I, you know, I go around on a lecture thing, which I just got used to. I met Sheila Scott one day. She said, "Why don't you do?" join Cyril Fletcher's lecture agency, so do that. Then I went to do a bit of a, well, do a bit of a voiceover sometimes. At ICI were making a film on how to kill aphids, so I did that. Then on, that was on the next day. Then on Friday I went down to Exeter, I opened a farmer's cash and carry in the Ottery St. Mary. Then I went home and uh, today I've come here. I'm going back to Monday's, what is it, it's Tuesday tomorrow, isn't it? Yes. Now I'm going to Smithfield Show at Earl's Court on Wednesday. Then I'm going down to Portsmouth on Thursday. Then I'm going to talk to some cement company. I don't know what I'm going to talk about. And then I'm going home. And then the next day we do another programme at Hastings. And that's about... That just, just gives you an idea. It uh, seems to be uh, all busy or all quiet. But I've got Ken and George at home working on the farm. They're not they're work, they're employees. Yeah. So, really, you're just a gentleman farmer? No, I'm not, really. I mean, I'm more gentleman than I used to be. I used to be very uncouth, especially when I had cows. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean it quite in that No, sense, no, I know. In the sense that you can't really get down to it. You'd yeah, I can. Really, at the yeah. time, surely. Yes, yeah. Well, you see, to, to be a radio, uh, to, to drop everything and go and do a radio program, which isn't really well paid enough to make a living, you've got to be either unemployed, self-employed or retired. Yes. Well, being a farmer, uh, you can, um, what they say, delegate the work to subordinates. Yes. Well, I've got two very good chaps who uh, work for me, and, and uh, I hope I reward them in commensurately. Yes. So uh, I've decided, I've sort of retired without telling anybody. I see. No. Don't take that too literally. No. <laughs> How big a farm do you have? We've got uh, 500 acres. Is it a show farm? Oh, God, no. No. no that makes money. But, uh, what do you mean a show farm? Well, as you said, you're an expert on farming matters. Oh, yeah, but... I thought yeah. that you would forever have visitors, you know, a shilling a head. Well, oh. without a shilling a head bit, actually. No, we grow strawberries. We, char we, we charge them for picking their own. That's the... the we, uh, we get part of the school children around and... Yes, that's what I mean. From colleges of further education. But I show them how the other, how, how the other side, you know, it's not a show farm that... Uh, isn't it? Oh, in that sense, I see. There aren't any show farms. You mean when they black lead the horses hooves and... No, no. Virtually, yes. Do what they do for the, No, 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 no. Nothing like that, is Nothing like that. It's our money making. Absolutely, yes. Yeah. Serious! <laughs> <laughs> Getting over to the, the radio thing. Yes. Yeah. Um, this quiz game that you're on at the moment... Yes. Do you do much background work? Yeah, well, I don't do so much now. When I milk cows every... I used to milk cows every weekend, you see. And I had a radio in the milking parlour. I'm largely radio educated. Mm. Yeah. I suppose if they... 
you squirt water on a concrete yard for long enough, some of it sinks in, doesn't it? That's yeah. how it is with me. But w when you go to bed at night, do you take a book with you, like the Guinness take Book a of book. Knowledge or something like that? Too? No, no, Get no. Up and all your facts. And no, well, I don't think much of reading in bed. <laughs> Lucky you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, no. No, no, no. It's, see, I'm working on the farm. This is uh, it's not sort of, a different sort of work, isn't it? If you made it too onerous, it wouldn't be enjoyable. No, true, but you, you've got so many facts and figures. I, I no, I don't. You seem to put them out of the air. That's just it? a myth, you see. You only remember the clever answers. You don't remember the stupid ones. No, but you get so many clever answers about things. Do you think so? The Aztecs oh, do down got in drink. South America and other things. <laughs> oh, I'm not. <laughs> Surely you must do some study. No, you don't really, no. Just uh, what life washes over you. <laughs> some sticks on it. So, you must have a pretty retentive memory. No, then. I suppose I have really, yeah. I can never remember how to repair the uh, combine harvester when we get, have to get the instruction book out. You, know? you have different different uh, sorts of ability as regards memory. How, how do you like appearing on these uh, oh, uh, games? All right. Um, I like the travel, you see. I, I wonder what actually appealed to you. Was well, the money. The money is very important. The money, or was it the, the challenge of uh, beating Brian Johnson or well, no, uh, whoever the opposite number is? I think it's a change of environment. It would be nice if everybody could have a few uh, days of their yearly life where they did something entirely different, wouldn't it? True. Uh, when we get treated so well, by, in this case, by the Army or the Air Force. Have a look around Germany, change, open, travel broads of mind, don't they say? And, um, our oh, winnings, uh, we, everybody likes to win. Even if you play darts, you like to win, otherwise, there's no point in playing. But I don't think that's the main criterion. It's, it doesn't mean anything good. at all, actually. What? Whether you win, lose, or. Oh, yeah, or sure. When, well, um, it's a shared um, achievement or failure, isn't it? Tonight we've got the, uh, I think I've got the army team and Brian's got the RAF team, but they'll do the winning or losing because they're very bright, <laughs> which is sort of say grunt and feel the ball or something like that. Mm. Um, what about television? How does that feel to you? You've done yeah. my line, I want to do. Oh yeah, yes, yeah, I've done lots. I've done, um, yeah, I've done all sorts of things on that from Parkinson program I did last, and I did, oh, I did one on. The, did a film on the farm. They hung a microphone round my neck and had a camera on a day on the farm. That was quite in uh, interesting because they cut out the bits, some bits, and edited it. But it was all right. Would you fancy doing a television series on farming? Oh, I, don't, I don't mind. Be, well, um, yes. Yeah, oh, uh, well, is, there, is there a need for that kind of thing? No, I don't think so. I think it's pretty well catered for this farming and the BBC and ITV. You mean, uh, you mean for entertainment or education? Uh, education, actually. Too. Well, there again. Uh, farmers. Uh, yeah, well, I would, I would consider it. Uh, I don't feel a burning desire to go do it. Now, you've got no ideas in the back of your mind about a, a show which has never been done. Right, no, I wish I had, have you? <laughs> None at all. Oh, you could think of it, and uh, we get it all uh, accepted, we'll split the royalties. Yeah, you and I, I don't yeah. know much about farming. It doesn't matter, it's entertainment. Television is mainly entertainment, isn't it? Well, true, true. And so is radio. Uh, radio more so, I feel. I think radio is very valuable. Definitely, especially for uh, old folks. Well, any folks, yeah, I think it's... Well, the, the younger ones, they can always go out and find alternative forms of entertainment, oh. you know. Um, the radio is fine to have, but at least they can go out and meet other people, but yeah. the older ones, uh, they need something. They can't go out just at the drop of a hat. Oh. Uh, they are marooned, and I think radio is a terrific medium for them. Oh, it uh, dispels loneliness in a lot of people, I'm sure it does. Yes, well, people, um, I was listening to Tony Brandon. Yeah. He was coming up in the, in the car. car, and uh, he was talking about some old people and they were writing to him as if he were a personal friend of theirs. They do. You know, uh, I like that idea myself. Yeah. Oh, loneliness is terrible. How does the celebrity thing get you? Does it, do you have any problems with being a celebrity? Well, I don't think I'm a celebrity, really. Uh, what do you mean? What sort of problems? Um, 
Well, I was trying to relate it to the people that I normally speak to, the, 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 pop, the pop stars, stars you know, no, where everywhere they go, it's hello this, hello that. Yeah. You know. Do you ever get fed up with people recognising you in the street and this kind of thing? No, if you should ever see me, and uh, all you got to do is call up and say, hello, Ted, how are you, what you having? And I'm, I'm not a just friend of the <laughs> door. <laughs> as long as I say, what are you having? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Uh, well, Tomato I'll, juice. I won't delay you any longer, Ted. That's all right. Thank you very I'll much. I'll put the trousers on now, can yes. I? <laughs> Yeah, but uh, scrub that to get the wrong idea. <laughs> okay, right. Well, fine, and thanks for the interview. Hope you can use some of it. I can use all of it. Oh, them. can you? Oh, my goodness. Yeah, thanks very much. All right, happy Christmas. I'm doing it. Is that all right?